These wire wrapped and beaded earrings are a great first project to make with wire. Find the complete step-by-step -step tutorial with links to all the supplies on Instructables. For each earring, you'll need a 4 inch piece of 18 gauge wire, about an arm's length of smaller gauge wrapping wire, 7 beads, 3 jump rings, and 1 ear wire. After putting on your safety glasses, use a pair of flat nose pliers to gently straighten a section of your heavier wire from the spool. Line up the straight wire with a small ruler and use your flush snips to cut two 4 inch pieces. The length of these wires determines the overall size of the earrings. So feel free to experiment, but make sure the two wires match. Pick up your round nose pliers and grasp the wire firmly as close to its end as possible. Wrap the wire around tightly to form a loop. Repeat to form a loop at the other ends of the wires, being sure to keep the loops aligned to the same plane. You can optionally use a chasing hammer and bench block to flatten the loops. Watch your fingers and give the wire loop six or seven good thwacks with the hammer. Then flip it over and strike it a few more times so that it looks evenly flattened on both sides. This has an obvious visual effect on the shape of the metal, but it also has a strengthening effect. Hammering work hardens the metal, making it stiffer. And also the new profile in the loop is uh, like a tiny I-beam, which is stronger than the previously round wire profile. Use pliers and your fingers to shape the wires into teardrop shapes. String seven beads onto that arm's length of thinner wrapping wire and kink one end to prevent the beads from falling off. Lay the unkinked wire end across the teardrop shape and wrap it five or six times with the help of some pliers. I like to wrap clockwise, but it doesn't matter which way so long as you stick with one direction throughout the project. Slide one bead down the wire until it reaches the larger loop. Hold the bead in place with one hand and wrap around the larger wire twice. Bring another bead into position and repeat the wrapping process to fill the shape with beads. As you go, try to keep your bead spacing even and your wires snug. Wrap the remaining wire five or six times around before trimming the tail short and pinching it flush. To complete these earrings, we'll use jump rings to attach the ear wires. To open a split jump ring, grasp the two wire ends using two hands and two sets of pliers. Twist your wrists in opposite directions to twist the wire ends apart laterally. After opening the jump ring, loop one end of your wire masterpiece onto the jump ring and close it the same way you opened it. Grasp both ends and twist towards each other until they are aligned. Open a third jump ring and use it to hook both of the previous jump rings as well as an ear wire and then carefully use two pairs of pliers to close the last jump ring. Repeat the steps to bead and complete a second teardrop shape for a pair of finished earrings and then whip up a few more pairs to give as gifts while you've got your tools out. Try switching up the colors of wire or beads or the size of the wire loop and the number of beads or even align the beads to the outside of the wire loop for a different look. This project is an excerpt from my free Instructables jewelry class, so if you liked it, be sure to check out the other new skills you can learn at the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe for more videos each week about DIY tech, crafts, and my life in New York City.